So the best and worst moments from Saturday's Premier League action. Uh, there's many candidates for both sides, but uh, we want to bring you what we think here at TYT Sports is the best and worst moments. So first and foremost, worst, uh, Matic. I have no idea um, where that rage came from in that moment. He seems like such a calm player on the field. Um, I understand the tackle wasn't the best and it was a little high on his shin and it could have caused an injury, but it didn't. And in that moment in time, you've now hurt your team um, and the man that you are probably would have been marking for a corner, uh, a smaller player, Ramirez, comes on to try and fill that void, uh, to try and fill that gap. Loses man in Chelsea drop points now one one because of that moment of sheer stupidity. I understand it's a bad tackle, but to get up and react that way, which seems to be kind of correlated through Chelsea's team, like there is a lack of discipline there for being such a great team. To players like Diego Costa are just allowed to kind of roam freely without facing any sort of disciplinary action at Chelsea for some moments of madness. And they're great players, and I understand that Jose Mourinho is a fiery character, but he needs to discipline his players more for me because the uh, for Matic to do that. And get away with it, basically, uh, on a Chelsea standpoint, will will not resonate well throughout the Premier League. I think he needs to be punished for that. It wasn't the most disgraceful thing that I've seen, but it still hurt his team, and they now pay the price. One one, and Manchester City have narrowed the gap for them. So he takes the wor one of the worst for me. Uh, there's a few other instances in there. We know Ron Blah moment of just a lack of concentration, giving the ball away and then giving a penalty away in the last minute. He should have just put that ball onto Rose and he's a trustworthy defender. I thought he would have. But he get caught up in, a, in a, another disaster for Aston Villa as they lose 2-1 to Stoke. And then a final worst for me, I have to say, is Fellaini. I always give him a little bit more credit than other people do, I think. I think he's a good player. But it's his work rate when he loses a ball. It's happened on numerous occasions this season, and it's just not acceptable. He, he loses a ball in the middle, and Wayne Rooney's screaming at him, get back, and he just kind of trots his way along. And instead of going to the man that he could mark, Shelby, he leaves him and just wanders to the ball as if he's a magnet to it, but doesn't even approach it at any pace to shut the ball down. He just strolls his way in, and it finds his way to Shelby, and he's got five or ten yards to pick his spot, and he smacks a shot, deflects it, goes in, and Manchester United lose the game because of that moment of uh, laziness, it has to be said for Fellaini. So, he, again, he'll make my list of worst. But list of best, great examples. Eden Dzeko, for me, uh, that was a fantastic goal. Um, that From start to finish, David Silva... Beautiful uh, ball in behind, weighted to perfection, and Jekyll takes it on his stride and his chest, puts it in the bottom corner, and that for me uh, was a fantastic goal, and a, a lot of credit definitely uh, goes to him for that. And you got to give the credit to Burnley for not for being resilient and managing to, at Stamford Bridge to come away with uh, a point because they just didn't give up and they understood that Chelsea uh, had a weakness and that was their discipline. They didn't take no for an answer. Uh, they fought to the very end and they got an equaliser, and that will lift their confidence absolutely. Ed and Jekyll goal is the best moment. I think that uh, from Saturday's Premier League weekend, there's many moments in there. I'm sure you have your own. If you want to know what they are, leave your comments in the section below. Um, the best and worst will be a segment we like to bring you on TYT Sports. Big games tomorrow. Looking forward to them. Um, so make sure to subscribe, stick around, join in the conversation.